bacon lamb. So here are your ingredients for this recipe. Fresh mint. You're going to need some beef stock or lamb stock if you can. Uh, some cumin, coriander, black pepper, paprika, and salt. EVOO. Your favorite red wine. Make sure it's drinkable. Some sugar and some additional uh, paprika. Onion, garlic, and the usual. Of course, you're going to need the lamb. So let's start by trimming some of the fat off of the lamb. I'm using a lamb shoulder here. And, you know, in the grocery store, I bought it honestly because it was a cheaper cut of meat. <laughs> but uh, feel free to use whatever cut you like. So you're going to generously season it with all of the seasonings that I just mentioned. So you're going to mix all those seasonings uh, minus the sugar and the uh, additional pepper. That's for the sauce. Uh, but you're going to mix the other seasonings and then you're going to generously coat each piece with the seasoning. After you've done that, you're going to put it into a bowl, just like so. Once you put it into the bowl, the next thing you're going to do is drizzle about, I'd say a tablespoon to two tablespoons of olive oil on top. Purely up to you. After that, a nice heaping spoonful of chopped garlic. Then you're going to chop the fresh mint, just like so. Then you're going to add that to the bowl as well. Next thing you're going to do is cut the onions or the onion. So you're going to dice the onion just like this. Then you're going to also add that to the bowl. Once you've added the onion and all the other ingredients to the bowl, you're going to massage the meat just like this. And make sure you do it thoroughly so that everything is well coated. Once it's all well coated, just like that, you are going to put some saran wrap over, nice and tight, and you're going to place it in the fridge for a minimum of one hour. I mean, you can do this uh, overnight if you like, but one hour is a minimum. Okay, after your hour is up, you're going to turn on your burner on your stove and then you're going to place your griddle on this burner. You can get one of these griddles almost anywhere. It's one of the best things I've ever purchased. You're going to remove your meat from the fridge, uncover it, then you're going to place it on the hot grill. Make sure your grill is, uh, you know, has a, a, a little bit of oil on there. You can spray it with some cooking spray as I've done here. meat about three minutes per side and while it's cooking we're gonna add about a cup of red wine to a pot to that we're gonna add about half a cup of the beef stock just like that then we're gonna add some cumin some coriander some salt black pepper and the paprika you're gonna stir lightly After it's all mixed well, you're going to add the sugar. So I'd say about a tablespoon or so. And you're going to bring that to a boil. Once it comes to the boil like this, you're going to bring it down to a simmer and reduce it by half until it looks like this. Now, back to the meat. All right, time for a flip. So once again, I said three to four minutes per side probably ideal it depends if you want a nice medium rare i say three or four minutes um, if you want it a little bit more well done maybe five minutes per side and there you go once you've uh, grilled that you place it on a plate and let it rest then after it's rested for about 10 minutes you're ready to plate then we're gonna place it on top of salad drizzle some of that red wine on top, just like so. Oh, and look at that. Delicious. And there you have it. This is my grilled Moroccan lamb with
with a red wine reduction. Give it a try, and once again, let me know what you think, as usual. Mm-hmm.